my name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Cultist Simulator. Let's immediately go to work so I'm not tempted by anything else at the moment. <sighs> okay, still got to figure out what I'm going to do with this subtle rupture. The Vandershaft Collection. Okay, I need to start moving my cult over because I need space for more locations because GD, I got a hell of a lot of them. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Speaking of having too many locations, we should probably do something about that. Go to one of them. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go to Lockwood Fen because it was gotten from a lower level Secret Histories law, so I might be able to get through it with as few people as I currently have. I really need a stronger cult. My cult is just super weak as hell at the moment. Alright. Now... The reeking murk of the Fenlands is ripe with furtive life. Taciturn locals still watch the sacred places of the small and secret gods. The one that answers prayers. In the shines, aspect location. Oh. Okay. Well, I have no reason to believe that anything in particular would be useful here. I am going to send Pope. And, yeah. and obviously just hell of a lot of funds. Out in the mudlands somewhere, we are certain it is a shrine bedecked with precious oddments. If the locals try to kill us, we are probably heading in the right direction. Okay, so finding things, lantern is usually good at. Killing things is all edge, and we have no edge. We are edgeless right now. Regained our health. Make sure that I move all of these across correctly. And what have we gotten? We've got an Ardent Orison as well as two Dimmed Reason. I'm going to chuck both of those in. Study that Law Witch Burns. Ooh, it looks like we didn't actually get Dread when we had something Exhaust. Nice. Okay. The Watchmen will lend virtue to our lamps and they will show us the perils to avoid, probably. I mean, I can just send a Percipient Disciple. You also have two Lantern as well as one Knock, so you know what? That's going to be a good idea. I think that's going to be a good idea, at least. Okay. Immediately talk to May to get a new commission. And we have... Commission for Grail. It's not even minor or massive, so we should be able to do that really quickly. Commission Grail, Law, Reason. Write a brief treatise on the Law of the Grail. Please ask for Glimmering. Ah, oh, it asks for Erudition. Okay, so we're probably about to fail that. Uh, expedition continues. Let's chuck some more money in there because we've overcome one obstacle so far. We've already expended one money. Let's see if the pieces of the puzzle actually work. Ha <laughs> ha! Totally didn't. Did give me erudition though. And we'll redo it. Okay. What do you want? The watches may be too much for us, but we still have a chance. Now this is a problem. Because... Whoa, hang on. But likely deception. Okay, so we can use moth for deception there. Our law should sway the watcher's minds. I'm going to go with that one. That seems much more definitive in working. Yeah, some restlessness for our troubles. Okay, we've finished the manuscripts. Let's quickly go back to May. I mean, I'm doing all of this to get Spintria, and I don't even know how to use them or where I would. Okay. Oh, and this one only got us an iron as well. Sure. Just wait for her to come back up. I should be just going to the stag door this entire time. I realize that. I'm just a little bit slow. Assistance. Treasure lies before us. The pleasant pressures, the pleasures will end ill for them. 
Perhaps they think it's worth it. Meanwhile, we can pass. Okay, I'm going to chuck some more money in because I just get it back if I fa if it's not necessary, right? So, no need not to. Oh, we've got another restlessness here. We've got a dread and a restlessness. This is this is a problem. This is a problem. And all of our verbs that would work with alleviating any of those are in use. Trembling heat, we found that not to be useful. Ah, I got an erudition. This is not going excellently right now. <laughs> okay, hang on, we got 10 things from this, beautiful. Apple green paint mark ritual circles on the rock. The remains of our sacrifices past squelch beneath our feet as we search for the shrine. In Little Hollow, the in the throne rests an oiled bundle of treasures. Ah, oh, crumbs, we picked up notoriety. That's why I stopped doing those events. There's our money back. We've also got our Percipient Disciple, Violet, as well as Pope. Here's the three that I'm looking for. The Encircling Tantra, Cinnabar Amulet, and the Book of Thrones. Okay, so let's put the Book of Thrones and the Encircling Tantra back up here. And then the Cinnabar Amulet, I have to imagine, goes there. So the Cinnabar Amulet is not that powerful. Scarlet is the color of heat. Mercury holds one key to an ultimate dissolution. It's a tool though. We don't, didn't before have a forge tool, so I guess that's handy. Oh gosh. If anything starts asking for these dreads, we are destroyed. There's another glimmering. Okay, the Encircling Tantra needs to be translated from Sanskrit. The explorer and entrepreneur T. Everett Duplantis once attempted to plunder the temple where this text was held. His fate is recorded in an appendix. The Book of Thrones is written in Phrygian. Ooh. We do not have the ability to read that. A legend of the Shadowless Empire transcribed by Alexander Petens from the annals at a sh secret shrine in Anatolia. The Phrygians worshipped the Great Mother, who we call the Grail. Theirs was the land in which the sisterhood of the knot was born, and this is the tongue in which the Thunderskin pleaded at his ascension. Intriguing. Extraordinarily intriguing. We now have a commission for Grail. Very substantial. I think we actually can fulfill that. Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's quickly do that. Reason and passion. Finish that one up. At the very least, we have something to do right now. Unfortunately, we do have notoriety and it's not going to wear out in time. Damn. So we're about to have some evidence made of us. Damn, damn, damn. Our follower betrayed is also about to become a corpse. A human corpse. The spirit is departed. At some point, the smell will be so bad you'll have to uh, dispose of it, but here it is for now. It may attract attention. It may even be used to impress the impressionable. It has a lot of winter aspects. And it can be used as an aspect ingredient. Can I paint with it? Uh, okay. We finish the manuscripts. We get back pretty much everything we put in. Go tell May about it. Here we go. We did it. We fulfilled your commission. And ooh, we also get the shaping chart. Perfect. Now, now, now. I really want to try and do a right now that we have the human corpse. Can't use this as a victim, right? Can use it as an offering. If I just add a bunch of winter in here. It's not going to work. Apparently the corpse does not want to be used with that. All right, sunset right. Can't use it there. Right of the watchman. Can't use it there. <sighs> so 
So it looks like the only one that I can actually use it with is this. And then as soon as I put this in, it says, okay, I'm not accepting that. So now we just have a human corpse that we can't use. Ugh. Looks like one of our dread is about to disappear at least. Spin through. Okay, goes back. Fair enough. All right. I think I may just go publicly speak about esoteric matters right now. Just to try and pick up some more disciples. Because we are severely behind in terms of disciples. Damn it, we just got another notoriety and that could easily be... Oh, it wasn't taken yet. We do have tentative evidence already on us though. Consciousness and fleeting, fair enough. Another notoriety, although it's probably going to be more than three minutes before she checks again, right? Right? There goes both of our dread. I'm extremely pleased about. Everything wears out, though. Okay, let's translate from Sanskrit the encircling tantra. As soon as this finishes, I'm going to chuck May in there. Okay, if we're talking with passions, that's just another acquaintance, right? Yeah, we get Dorothy, a new acquaintance. Beautiful. Come on, Dorothy. You're now part of my cult. Well, not yet. You are an acquaintance who I will now induct into my cult. May gives us commission for Forge, very substantial. Forge, very substantial is just six, right? Yeah, we've got that. In fact, we literally just got it. It's the Shaping Charm. Oh, we need to use two reason for this one. Interesting. Uh, our reason has disappeared. Oh, there it is. I feel like I may be somehow bringing about the end game like, I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to tell her everything about everything that I've learned. Because she might just turn around and use it against me. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> For what it's worth. I would like to be wrong. Let's put our mystique back over there. Okay. We'll read the Encircling Tantra. Uh, it speaks of the Serpent Gate, that hungry portal, sometimes known as the Spider's Door, which is sacred to the Mother of Ants. That's interesting. The Mother of Ants is related to the Rite of the Mother's Mercy, and the Spider's Door is probably another door in the Mansus, through which the Great Hooded Princes pass. Now, the Great Hooded Princes have been mentioned before in these texts as well, uh, although I'm a little bit less familiar with that. Oh, I haven't got my manuscript back. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? Let's speak publicly about these esoteric matters again. Beautiful. We've gotten our commission. Uh, nothing I can do about that right now. Okay, we'll just quickly work. Gotta make sure that I'm gaining money whenever I can. The Tantra includes an evo sorry, an invocation, but cautions helpfully that the invocation is of insufficient power to reach the serpent gate from the hunter's gate. A road which has no destination is itself a destination. It adds helpfully. You also get a consent of wounds. Which we will drop over here. A consent of wounds. To open certain ways, one must first open oneself. This practice outlines that opening in the name of the Mother of Ants. Nearly every summoning rite requires knock influences. I mean, Mother of Ants and the Rite of the Mother's Mercy. It seems like this would be the invocation for Rite of the Mother's Mercy. Just to me, that's, that's what it seems like on the outside about that stag door. Ooh, baby, what a stag door. Okay. Gain some restlessness, unfortunately. And I can't use it to ascend my Dorothy yet. Damn. Oh, hang on. I shouldn't do that one. I should try and check out Right of the Mother's Mercy. Consent of Wounds. It's not even going to do anything with that. 
offering has to be an ingredient. Summon something if I add lantern heart or winter. Summon a creature of the sunken rags. I'll need a very high intensity, very significant intensity of winter. That's not going to be provided by that. Uh, and a little knock and edge. Well, this is some edge. This is knock. This is winter. But if I need more winter, I would have to drop this out and pick that up. With a little more winter aspect, a little more edge and a corpse, I might create a brutal servant. So I could use the corpse as the offering if I had one currently. But that means that since I can't use desire, since I have nothing of six desire, my assistant would need to be extremely winter. Like, the invocation would have to be extremely winter, right? Because think about it. I currently have in this... 13 winter and it's taken both the invocation and the assistant slot but this is saying with a little more winter aspect how am i gonna get a little more than 13 when 13 takes me two slots and then add some knock in uh yeah you're a, you're a mean one mr grinch i know how to do this one right now back in dream times i mean that's a way to get a significant amount of knock but Ugh. I got a Furious Air. Oh, we've seen that one before, but what's the Furious Air? Pause time for a second. It is a ridiculous amount of edge. Okay, we have seen this one before. Right of the map's edge. Furious Air edge. Summon something. If I add Lantern or Moth. I could enact a battle in my own soul. Lantern or moth? Well, I mean, this is moth. Transforms reason to passion. Oh, okay, so that that's what the battle in my own soul is, right? Transforming reason into passion. The invocation would be ecdiasists. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Mm. Can't even add that in there. Can add an assistant in. If I add lantern, I can attempt a foolish, beautiful magic. I can sacrifice knowledge. Okay. Okay, in a couple seconds, I'm about to get my Fenean back. So we'll do that. We've also got a, a new person. Where are they? Right? We can learn from one another. Dr. Ibn Al-Adim. Sure, I'll make some space for you down there. All right, Doctor. Dr. Ibn Al-Adim, called the Aleppany, has an interest in your overlooked history. He could use your assistance. Okay. I mean, we'll talk to him in a moment, but let's go back to trying to enact the right we were doing. Oh, which I've immediately forgotten which it was. I think it was this one. If I sacrifice that amount of knowledge. The end is beautiful. Yeah, this is this is a way to get the end is beautiful, but I don't care about that. It will kill any mortal or spirit. It will end something, but it's impossible to know what. I don't I don't know if that's a thing that I should just do without having any reason to. I should ascend someone with this restlessness before it turns back. So let's quickly do that. Mirror of Glory. Chuck Dorothy in there. Give him the restlessness. dream our way through the stag door again don't have anything on which to work some erudition though and we've gotten a believer back i couldn't leave her if i tried it is oh you are of heart beautiful don't have any one of that right now 
Okay, another thing that I need to do is turn in my commission. And then while May is on recharge, we will talk to Dr. Al Abim. Dr. Ibn Al Adim. There we go. Doctor would like to help with my research. Hmm, you would, would you? Hmm. Sounds likely. Here's what he needs. A commission of secret histories. Substantial. That's gonna be a problem. I don't really keep my secret histories. I turn them in pretty immediately. Okay, he's looking for substantial treatise on the secret histories of the world. He's offering you a commission. All right. I can match that at some point, just not right now. Oh, there we go. That'll do it. Commission and Forgotten Chronicle. <laughs> All right. So I probably can just juggle those. I really need to figure out where I spend these resources though. Ooh, hang on, I can explore with this. No. I can't. It's accepted by Explore, but I can't use it. Oh, because it has Aspect Secret Histories, which I think Law, which I think Explore would just accept. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And a fleeting memory. Our tentative evidence is halfway to gone. Pretty pleased about that, to be honest. Ah, uh, another restlessness. Okay. Yeah, I... I definitely now need a new space. I'm starting to go off the board. I mean, if I immediately explore it, it won't be there. Ooh. We should get our commissions to turn up down here if we can. Our mystique should turn up there. Tentative evidence should be there. Get the restlessness alone. Okay, so if I turn in this secret history, I think that's just super quick to do, right? Yeah, it only takes 10 seconds. Good. So I can do the restlessness ascension afterwards. Get our bronze. I received the currency of the secret world and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. But it doesn't really tell me what the tantalizing information is. Damn it. All right. Let's quickly, once again, ascend Dorothy using Restlessness and Fnane Invocation. Okay. Move the Orthus Wood over. Another erudition there. I've got, I've got four erudition right now. If I just had another random erudition up here, I would be able to actually ascend my scholarship. Also, if I'd seen before either of these hit their... Wait, actually, 40 seconds ago. Okay, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have been able to do it, right? Because this would have been at 60 before I got this. So it wouldn't have lined up perfectly. Oh, well. Again, I should probably just be going through the stag door constantly. Work again. Sure. More than happy to work again. As soon as I get a commission. It is a commission for very substantial grail. Pretty certain I have that. I'm also pretty certain she's already asked me for that prior. We'll wait to speak to another person, though. Okay, and... Damn it! Got into our dreams before I could get the d good doctor to do something for me. A bitter atmosphere. We almost had an erudition there instead. Okay, I visited the Ascent of Knives last night, the harshest of roads through the house. It has been sacred to the meniscuit and the sun in rags, related to the sunset, right? Since the... in Intercalate since the inter since the intercalate when the true sun was divided. When I woke, my room was freezing, the chill of it had cracked the window glass. Okay. 
Well, I know that now I should probably try and do the sunset right with the bitter atmosphere because it is 10th order influence. That is a lot. Get a commission from the good doctor. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's try this sunset right now with the bitter atmosphere that got hidden. Hint winter. If I add... If I add knock, I might be able to attempt a summoning. So invocation, I can add there. Knock. There are more possibilities here. If I add edge, heart, or forge. Nope. Okay, your forge. Summon a creature of the forge of days. Well, no, that's not going to work. Your... Summon the voiceless dead. Ooh, summon one of the voiceless dead. There, uh, these are the dead who do not descend or ascend, but who remain in the mansus and dream of winter. The power of winter, along with a little of the heart's warmth, will draw them here. Okay, we'll look at other options first, but I am definitely going to enact that. Infuse a corpse with the power of ring you. With a little more winter aspect, a little more moth and a corpse. Uh -uh. Okay. You go for it, Dorothy. Here's what he needs. A commission for Lantern. Very substantial. I've got that on lock. Got rocks and moxie. And I'm rocking some brand new soxies. But anything I want to explore at the moment? Not really. Okay. I could speak publicly about esoteric matters, but I want to keep my Fenane invocation. Forgotten Chronicle? Sure. Seems good to me. Got two, in fact. We could actually uh, join those together were it necessary. Should just be always dreaming. Gotta remind myself of that. A, B, D. Always be dreaming. Okay. Summon one of the voiceless dead. The dark shape limbed with winter light. It will not speak. Okay, so it's only three minutes long. It will not speak, but its eyes are avid, looking, looking. The dead are always long for the world eventually. So get our meniscus back there. We've also unlocked an achievement for summoning alien gods. Sometimes the dead enter the manzus by the white door. At its threshold, they lay down their power of speech forever. Call them back to the world, and they will have no voice, but their skins of dust are yours to command. Okay, so you are summoned, you're a follower, you are a moth, a winter, and a deceiver. If this breaks free, it will try to drive you or your followers to insanity. Uh-oh. Uh, well, I don't want that to happen. That said, can I send you out on... Yeah, I can send you out on a mission with someone nice. Let's go. So the Vanderklaaf is a cramped little museum in a provincial town, long closed to the public since an outbreak of peculiar rapture in the town where they ke keep the pressed flowers. Only the very curious would ever pay attention to the place and its close warded storeroom of ill-omened treasures. Okay, so those who play clo uh, pay close attention are those of Lantern. Chuck some money in. All right. The door to the painted chamber of the Vandershaft collection is locked and warded. I should probably put someone with knock in here, but I don't have any knock. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Locked and warded. Uh, should I not do this until I have a follower who is lock-based? Is knock-based, rather? I'm going to try it regardless. That's probably dumb. I probably just do doomed both of those to failure. To death. Yeah, I, I probably just screwed up pretty significantly there. All right. What's your commission for me right now? Yours is Lantern. Okay, May is asking for the Grail. Okay, and yours is Lantern, which I have the ability to do. I just got to check some reason in there. Easy. Ooh, I do have to get rid of this affliction as soon as it's humanly possible as well. Quickly just put those down there to mark that for myself. All right. All right. Now, unless we bring forge or knock. Okay, forge I have more of. 
We call upon the Forge of Days, who ends what will not change. Our tools are ready. We should be able to penetrate this watered door. Beautiful. Okay. I'm glad that there was a second way. That's what I was thinking when I sent them on the mission. Maybe there's a second way I can accomplish this. Uh-oh. We got some fascination here. I dreamt of the mantis behind the white door, of the great space above the orchid, the space that overlooks the bounds, the space where the vagabond once painted her river. Painted ships passed upon the painted river. I met the painted eyes of the painted captain. She saluted, and the motion was like the layered movement of clouds. The sail of the ship was amber, and the captain's eyes were green of New Bali and the river aquamarine. Now that I'm awake, I can see those colors still. Fascination should definitely go to the center of the board because it is our loss condition. Well, it's a loss condition. I say our loss condition like it's our only loss condition. Well, at least I'll be able to use the dread to downplay this fashion. Uh, this fashion, this uh, fascination. Okay. Let's so gain all of our stuff back and then fulfill our manuscripts. Beautiful. We're just juggling those at the moment while trying to... Uh oh, okay. Almost messed that one up. Got to make sure I get rid of the affliction first. Okay. Also picked up an erudition here, which, yes, good. Should go across. All right. What are you asking for now? Uh, money. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of money. I mean, I could be working right now. And should be. Okay. We call upon Elegaste, who cannot be deceived. Elegaste separates and remember from the true. His power should protect us. Sure. Seems like we're already on top of that one. We gain a health. Gain a commission from May. And then let's go back through the stag door. Chuck some reason in for the ascent. Did, you just took fascination. Damn it. I only just got dread, and I'm already dreaming. That's my bad. Commission for moth? Substantial? Yeah, we can fulfill that. Easy. Alright. Our power is stronger than the power that was here. The curse won't touch us. Beautiful. We do have enough funds to continue as well. Okay, in the Painted Chamber. The walls of the Painted Chamber carry scenes of war from all major histories. Vienna falling to the worms. The Sovereign of the Leashed Flame burning the martyr soldiers of the Knot Sisterhood. The meeting of Alexander and the Shadowless King. Along one wall, a shelf is stuffed with junks and curiosities. Oh, hell yes. A book of pressed flowers emanating a peculiar scent. Three elderly Baedekers... A collection of butterflies painted black and white and the real treasures. An oddity in a glass case and a little... Whew. Clotioned? Clotioned coffer of curiosities. Ooh, a rattling in the soul. Okay, it's a sick thought of influence. Uh, we also got some notoriety. We got Tristan back. I mean, we've got five things at the bottom and I want to discover those, so I don't want to just hit the collect all uh, is the problem that I run into. Tristan goes there. Oh, Voiceless Dead comes back. Pope Clifton goes there. And we have picked up Funds, Jumble, Winged Doll, which should be, I have to imagine, here. Now, Jumble is just something I'm going to sell, so I'll just put it there really quickly. Paradoxical Curio. It is of secret histories. Sometimes it is hard to be sure if an arrow slew the Empress Herodias or the Empress Eurydica. Eudokia. Eudokia. Sometimes it is possible that an Ormolu clock was stolen in the sack of Vienna, even if it rested safe in the vaults of Rome. And then we have the Burning Woman. Again in Phrygian. A transcript of the play by Menander the Victor. Possibly the dramatist of that name into Phrygian with commentaries. We need to get more languages. Phrygian and what was the other one? It was Aramaic. 
Oh, boy. Okay, and Winged Doll we should also read. In the attic above the skeleton house, there was a window. Besides the windows, there was a box. In the box, there was a bandage. In the bandage was a twist of clotted hair. In the hair was wound a doll because the window had never been opened. Mmm. Makes no sense to me right now. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna align currency differently. Especially the currency I don't know what I want to do with. So that my board isn't so tall. Oh, so tall. Yeah, so that it can go a little bit wider. Okay, I do want to go back to Orthus Woods right now. Because it feels like nothing can stop us now. We're having a good time. Yeah, we're having a ball. So... Any of these I can translate? No, there is not. All right, yeah, let's go back to Orthus. Okay, Orthus Wood. The pines grow thick as hairs on a dog back. The air of the inner wood... The airs, rather, of the inner wood are chokingly thick with resin and dust. The source that brought you here claimed that in the dawn times, the greatest tree at the wood's black heart serves as a perch for the great master crow. Okay, to me... That reads like we need a ridiculous amount of lantern. In the black heart of the author's woods, we might find the tree where the masked crow met its peers, but the forest itself is a peril and a cannibal clans who live here are another. Now back to dreams. Ooh, forbidden epic, beautiful. Okay. There is a great tramba in the Mansus through which the Painted River flows. Have I read this before? I have not. The Vagabond, it is claimed, painted it from memory in the years before she left the house. Certainly, there are histories concealed in its design. I traced them with my hand last night. There were fragments of aquamarine paint beneath my nails, flecks of gold leaf when I was done. Okay, the Forgotten Epic will go here we can join those two forgotten chronicles and then join that with the forgotten epic and get something of 10 for lore hell yes that sounds good to me okay you need a commission for lantern that's super easy to fulfill right, we've finished one manuscript and we're about to start another And hand this one in. Like, this is giving me some notoriety and stuff, but I don't know really, other than that, what it's doing. Like, we get Glimmering, we get Mystique. I guess the Glimmering is kind of cool. Like, maybe I would need eight Glimmering in order to upgrade our fevered imagination. I'm not seeing that happen anytime soon. What do you want? Okay. Uh, nothing right now. Looks like. We've got watchers who can be fought, seduced, or deceived. We've got practicalities of the forge or mysteries of the moth may see us through. Okay, so I need to add some... Because I've got forge. I'll add some grail for... Moth aspect will guide us through. The forge aspect will clear a path. Okay, you've got moth. We call upon the moth who is dappled. Shadows dabble the path. Perhaps the path is the one the moth has given us. Probably it is. Probably we'll make it through. Okay, this restlessness is not going to become dread fast enough to use with contentment. Is there anyone I need to ascend again? No, not right now. Damn. All right, that restlessness is just going to stay there. It's going to become dread and that's going to be a problem. Oh, crumbs. We're about to get another restlessness as well, probably from the vision's bait. We've lost the path. The forest towers against the dusk sky. The beasts of the forest are now silent, but now and then we see their eyes. Okay, there's our finished manuscript. Let's quickly hand that back. And just work our trivial job at the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How am I going to pick up the ability to counter the dread that we're about to pick up from this restlessness? I could just buy it. We're also running out of money now. We've got all of this money, the Spintria, but our funds are running low. I'm going to dream my way through the stag door again. And... Just hold on. Oh, crumbs! An expedition member is dying. Uh-oh. I thought we were prepared for pretty much anything that could happen here. The expedition continues. Okay, did we lose anyone? Yeah, we did. Oh, that's unfortunate. We... We lost the good captain, whatever his name was. <laughs> That's how much I care. Whatever his name was. Alright. Ooh, urgency of appetite. That's not what I wanted. Okay. The Ascent of Knives is called the Sharp Stair, the Mother of Mirrors, and the Feast of the Grail. If one is to look beneath the stair, as I did last night in my dreams, one understands that last name. It draws a tithe of blood from the feet of those who ascend. And who say, some shaped like men, many shaped like women, wait beneath the glass of the stair to satisfy their hunger. I did not approach, I made no sound, I only observed. It's only six. All is good. All is good. Well, I say that, but everything's terrible, and I hate how everything is going right now. All upon the moth who is doppled. I'm going to add in more moth. The moth will guide our footfalls. Sure. So we need to work on another moth commission. Okay, so it's seeming like we can just get, again, the same commissions we've had before. It's seeming like we're not really making... A difference right now by doing these extra commissions. Other than the fact that it occasionally gives me glimmering. Like, I could just put any moth in there. I mean, I could just put the smaller moth and almost certainly should as well. Okay, we'll put the smaller moth in and we'll put the reason in. Alright. What do you want? Supplies are low. Unless I send more funds, I'll have to abandon the expedition. Okay, so now I'm... I, okay, so I never have to add money unless it's asking for money. Got it. Look closer, closer still, look closer. Now close your eyes. That would be lantern, but I've, I've already lost... I've already got all of my lantern on there. Their bewilderment is our opportunity. We'll pass in silent secrecy. So I picked up another health. Oh, that was completing a commission. Cool. So, May brief commission. And then I'll also start the substantial lantern. Easy. Okay. You fulfilled that for May. <sighs> yeah, I need to start speaking publicly about esoteric matters again. Okay. Treasure lies before us. Alright, cool. So we lost one person on that mission? That's fine. The Memory of Crows. This is the Great Oak where the Masked Crow once roost. T roosted. Lightning has split it from head to heart, and the tree is charred and rotting. It squirms? Pretty sure there's an eye in the word squirms. With finger-length worms. Something glints dully in the swarm of dead roots. The root coils around an egg the, of lead the size of a child. Perhaps it was once plated with another metal once, but the weather has removed all trace of any coating. After a struggle, the halves of the egg come apart to reveal its contents. Okay. Porter. You are moth. Okay, you go down here. Notoriety. Oh, perfect time for it as well! Ugh, crumbs. Get Rhaenyra back there and Kakaro. 
beautiful. Actually, I think we, having lost a person who was forge related, can move everything one space over. There's not enough space to have everything laid out like this and also not have to condense things back when we start running out of things that go there. Levy. A dark and syrupy liqueur favored in the unnamed forest villages. The tongue in the eye, now we begin. Forget your name, forget your skin. Uh, not particularly pleased about the fact that it is another ingredient for moth. Ooh, hang on. No, 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 no. I know how we sort this. There we go. Everything goes down by two. Because there's instruments, right? And there's... There's instruments and tools, and then there's ingredients. So we'll split those up into different levels. Okay. That'll, that'll help. That'll help. That'll help. Um, that said, this can still move back across, right? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Really should be doing this stuff in between episodes. I've also just realized that this episode is 46 minutes long because I am incapable of containing how much I like this game. Okay. When I move things out like this, it actually makes me a little bit worried about how little we have of some things. Fulgan goes below. We're putting instruments above. Yeah, we are putting instruments above. Okay. There and there. Right? Renira moves one space down and Violet goes there. Yes. Awesome. That all works. All right. Now we've got, uh, got the Sanskrit reader. We already know how to read Sanskrit, so we'll put that next to that to sell. And then we have Wolf Snow. Far too cold to ever melt in anything but the hottest noonday sun. It will very, very gradually consume human flesh. Okay. That is winter related and it's an ingredient, right? It is an ingredient. Beautiful. Yeah, when I put things out like this, it immediately makes me aware of the fact that we have so damn few forge related things or grail related things. It makes sense that I have very few secret histories because I keep using them to explore. All right, and then all of that is now set out correctly. Also that I have no one with knock or edge, two things that seem to be extremely important in terms of our dungeoneering. Place behind desire, no need for that. Okay, I actually want to go to Aura Flames and sell these jumbles. Think our way through the stag door with reason. Get our commission back. Okay. Mystique over here next to the notoriety. We can hand in our commissions in just a second. Or not. Oh, right, because I'm trying to find a new person. Cool, cool, cool. That makes sense. Okay, it looks like our notoriety wasn't even picked up. Never mind, it must have been. Because we've got some tentative evidence. Oh, boy. Not good, not good. All right. All of this is working out currently. I like it. I like it a lot. Total lack of interest. My item has sold, but for some so trifling not to be worth recording. No one is impressed by it. Okay, that's fair enough. I just wanted to get rid of it so that I wouldn't have it on the board. For the moment... My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the episode has been God Damn It Is 15 Minutes Long. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.